For this experiment we will be using a concrete block to represent the wall of our house and also an electric fan heater which will represent the heat source inside the house. This experiment will show us how heat is lost through the wall of a house. We know that heat evaporates water so if we spray the external surface of the block with water we will be able to see the water evaporating as the heat transfers through the block wall. We now introduce the heat source on the inside of the wall and spray the external surface of the wall with water. After four minutes we can see that the heat on the inside of the wall is transferring through the concrete block and evaporating the water on the outside of the wall. After eight minutes we can see that a lot of heat has transferred from the inside of the wall to the outside of the wall through the concrete block. We can see this clearly as part of the external surface of the block has dried out, showing us that there is heat transfer. Let's do this experiment again, this time with a sheet of foil back expanded polystyrene insulation installed behind the block on the inside surface of the wall. Again we introduce the same heat source and spray the external surface of the wall with water. After four minutes, we see that very little water on the outside of the wall has evaporated. This is because the insulation on the inside of the wall is reflecting the heat and not allowing it to pass through the wall itself. Even after eight minutes, we can see that none of the water on the outside of the block has evaporated. This shows that using insulation on a concrete wall greatly reduces heat loss through the wall itself. The walls of many older houses in Ireland were constructed with cavity blocks. Here we can see the cavities in the cavity block itself. The cavity block wall is constructed in one single leaf, as shown here. The cavity block wall does not have one continuous cavity, instead it has many smaller cavities which are more difficult to insulate. Because of this, the most common way to insulate a cavity block wall is to dry line the wall, which is insulating the wall from the inside. Now let's have a look at dry lining a cavity block wall. The dry lining takes place on the inside surface of the wall. Wooden battens are nailed onto the wall, as shown here, at 500 mm spacings. Insulation is then added in between these battens. A foil back insulation is normally used. Plasterboard is nailed onto the battens to cover up the insulation. The wall can now be finished as normal.
houses in this estate are constructed with the normal type of cavity wall. However, when these houses were built, no type of insulation was put into the cavity. We've come to look at insulation specialist, GAR Insulations, retrofitting insulation into the walls of one of these houses. The insulation being used are these expanded polystyrene beads. These are mixed with glue before being pumped into the cavity wall. The insulation is pumped through a pipe into the cavity wall using a large compressor mounted in the back of the truck. Holes are drilled in the outer leaf of the wall. It is through these holes that the insulation will be pumped into the cavity of the wall. The insulation is then pumped into the wall, with this special gun controlling the insulation going into each part of the cavity. When one part of the cavity is full, the flow of insulation automatically stops. The gun is then inserted into another borehole and then the process can continue. All the holes are then filled to reseal the outer leaf of the wall.